Hey guys, welcome back. Today's test drive is this 1970 Chevelle. We're up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And uh, I'm gonna be going over any kind of flaws on this ride so you know what you're getting before you get here. This one, as you walk up under the hood, it has a 350, it's your common 350, 3970010. Power steering, power brakes. Uh, wouldn't mind having a fan shroud there just for protection and extra cooling, but we're gonna be taking it down the road, seeing what's wrong with it. I'm sure it cools fine. This thing is in pretty good shape, but towards the end of the video, I'm gonna be picking out chip scratches, rust, dents, whatever there is, and you'll know about it. Disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear, dual exhaust out the back. It's got a bench seat in it. It's also got a four-speed transmission. Go to maplemotors.com, check out the finance and the shipping. Look at the detailed pictures we provide. And of course, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before I take off on any test drive, we'll check out the interior. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? Get across here. Your dash pad's in good shape. All right. We'll go ahead and start her up here. It was a column shift car at one time. seat looks good your door panels are also in good shape on both sides and the rear and across your package tray there got some wrinkles in the headliner the headliner could be better you see where they stitched it up here somebody pulled out a home remedy there needs a cover for the light missing visors hole in the headliner Try some stuff. Wiper. They're working. That one there's hanging. Don't use it too much more. It needs a blade. Turn signal. Left side's blinking. Right side's also blinking. There's a generator light on. Of course, it is charging. So, gas gauge there is showing quarter tank. Blower motor is kicking on. Pretty strong. Quiet. Radio. All the way up. It's not working. Did you place your bets on the horn? Let's try it out. If you said it worked, you was wrong. This one's not home. All right, let's hit the road. So she runs and drives. Okay, we get the seatbelt on. We're gonna go ahead and take off here. We're gonna run up to the gas station, put about $20 worth of the premium fuel in this ride. We're at a quarter tank right now. So we'll see how that works. Try out reverse here. Clutch isn't feeling too bad on this one. Actually, help me out a little bit if I scoop the seat for The seat does slide forward here. Power steering's a little jumpy. It's like the belt slipping is what it is. Anything I see, you'll know about it. Alright, 
Okay. $20 worth of premium fuel in this ride here. You put the gas in behind the tag in the back. It has a locking gas cap, which I guess they didn't want to lose the key, so they just left it in it. <laughs> Go ahead and check the gas gauge. Let's see. Turn the key. It's on its way up. We had a quarter tank when we got here. We got over half a tank leaving here. Good deal. Let's roll. Okay, heading on back to the lot now. So far, so good. Picking out the flaws is at the end, so stick around for that. I'll let out on the clutch pretty fast there. But hey, here we go. Still getting used to this clutch here. Every one of them's different, it seems like. Make sure y'all set up good before we leave. Seems all right. This car's got a good highway gear, so you should be good around 65, 70 mile an hour without over revving the motor. Clutch had a little bit of a, or not the clutch, the shifter itself was vibrating against something in third gear. Right. Of course, it's not gonna do it now. <laughs>
Big old bump in the middle of the road here. Give her a listen. Pretty smooth. Suspension feels great on this one, by the way. And of course, we're right around the corner from the car lot. We're gonna head back and grab another one. Uh, I got my wife with me today. She's helping me get some footage. Helps me get stuff done a little bit faster. That way I can get more cars out to you because we're actually taking a trip next week. So I won't be here. When you're watching this video, I'll be on the beach, which I'm excited about. I did this ahead of time. It's Wednesday right now, the week prior. So nobody on YouTube here knows about these rides. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Bless you. And I'll see you in the next one. Stick around, picking out the flaws up next. Here we go, guys. Anything I see, you'll know about it. Look at those detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Let's get started. Coming around on the front end here. The bumper's not new at all. It's got pitting on it. Light little spots and scratches. Chips there on the front rubber. The headlight bezels look pretty good. Your grill's got a crack right here. Coming down the side. The tires are in great shape. Little chip here in the front, a little wear right there around the marker light coming up over the fender. A lot of your trim is in good shape. You got some cracks down here in the paint. See some more chips here from that side. The bottom as well. Dent right here. A lot of chips around the back there as well. Coming down your midsection. A little spot in the paint right here. Edge of your door's got a few spots as well. Light pitting on your door handle. It's like a dent right here. Little dimples in the side. Some bubbles in the paint. chips on top of the fender there overspray it's more overspray on top try to make it pop up it's very very light of course I'm going over details so chip chip here up your pillar Dings, a little trash on the inside there. Crack on top. You can see this has been worked before. Front windshield's got some light lines from the windshield wiper. No cracks on that seal there. Window looks good. Pillar back here's got pitting. Cracks in the paint on the back here. On top. Thick on the paint right there. Little lines up here as well. Thick back here, you got it, looks like a tape line. 
Coming over your back window, pretty good shape. Trim looks good. Around that edge there, you can see it's been worked. Clear coat looks like coming off. Chips on top. Coming around the back, same as the front pitting on the rear bumper. Chips. The seal around the trunk is old and brittle, falling apart. Jams, not so bad. The trunk looks new. Put a whole new pan in here. They got it cleaned up well. Great job on the trunk. See that panel where it's been replaced? On both sides, new metal. Package tray, solid. Trunk lid. Get down with it. Shuts easy. Stripes a little messed up there. Spot in the middle here. Right there. Kind of work my shadow around it. That's why I sit under this tree. If I was out in the sun, y'all would just see shadow the whole time. <laughs> Especially being on the back here. Little spot. Coming down this side. Chips in the corner. Little spot there. Chips on the bottom. Bubbles popping up, a little rust. You can see where it's been fixed right here. Little chip. It's also been fixed in the corner of the door. Trim's hanging just a bit. Looks like it needs a screw. This may burn the paint up here in the front. It's been repainted too. You see the two tones. Spots on the door. chips along the edge there other side didn't have this chrome so I'm sure there's chips underneath that cracks in the middle here also in the back edges are thin on paint all the way up this, you can feel it. Been worked up in the corner here. Paint peeling. Rust trying to come through there. Dipples in the paint job here. Little pitting on your mirror. Close up top, gapped in the middle. Pillar. Cracking up here. A lot of dimples on top on this paint job. All the way back. That in your jam there. Some more cracking. here as well 
See some of them little spots. Over the roof. Dimple. Around your trim, a couple chips. Front window on this one is in good shape. Chip there on the hood. Might as well go ahead and look over the hood. I got it down because the springs are not strong enough to hold it up. You got some bubbles popping up here. Okay, so we made it around the car. Let's go ahead and open her up. Check out the interior. Door panel on this one's not too bad. A little discolored in certain spots. You got some, uh, you got a spot down here. Basically people will kick the door panel when they're getting out and eventually it wears it out. This bottom corner of the door looks pretty good. Coming down. There we go. Little light change there on the camera. Carpet in this one actually looks pretty good. It is older. But it's not really wore out, so might as well leave it. Back seat. Pretty good shape. Package tray also in good shape. So on your headliner here, probably the worst part of the interior. Could honestly need to, need to be redone. It's Got a few holes, a few rips, missing a light cover. Coming across the dash, showing 61,000 miles. At one time was a column shift car. Clock's not working anymore, let's see. Sometimes you can pull it out and let it go and it'll take off, and it's not doing that today. Ashtray's missing. Glove box, nice and clean. The seat in this one looks good, and I'll show you the driver's seat here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and start her up. I'm not gonna hit the gas. Starts up good. I assume the emergency brake don't work since they've got a, uh, a tie down on it. Your pillars here got a little bit of pitting. Well, sometimes I can change the camera. There we go. Yeah, I think I'll show you the pillars. <laughs> Weather stripping's weak. In your seat, decent shape. It's not ripped or anything. Good deal. Let's get this hood open for you. So I noticed on the hood, it doesn't stay up by itself. It will for a second, but it's just gonna fall down and hit you in the head. Uh, need some springs. And then when you release this, uh, this is not, I'll show you. I'll show you what I gotta do here. So basically, when you pull that out, it's not releasing enough back. So I just shoved my hand up in there and pushed it back to help her out. Up under the hood, it actually looks nice and clean. A 
nice radiator there. Again, fan shroud be nice just, just for safety. It also helps in the middle of the summer. I haven't noticed any overheating issues. That generator light just cut off. Of course, it doesn't have a generator anymore. Motor's pretty quiet. I hear a slight lifter tap. Something that can be adjusted out. They almost got all the wires the same color. It's just the main one there. Probably change it out, put a new one on it. But it's running nice and smooth. And of course, it does shut easy. Guys, if you don't mind, hit subscribe, share this video. Look at the detailed pictures, financing and shipping we have available for you. And every Monday, I'm going to put out new rides. All right, I'll see you in the next video.